Uh, these things are in the... Oh, I see. This part right here, which I'm guessing it's his chest in robot mode. You can go ahead and fold that up. And then fold this up so it makes the back wheels. That's, that's pretty cool then. Not as pain and frustration that I imagined. Which would have been fun, but... Oh well. So, this actually takes a little bit of uh, work to transform. Like, like I said, like... Uh, I still don't have an animated Blitzwing, so I can't tell you, but... Uh, the other triple changers in the other lines are... All very simple to change from vehicle mode to vehicle mode and this one actually takes a little bit of work to change from uh, to change from play mode to tank tanker mode and that's a pretty looking pretty weak looking tanker um, you can pretty you can see all this kibble right here it just doesn't look very good the cab is all messed up. What is this? What's this here? Um, from the front and just the front, it looks okay, but from this part, from this part on, it doesn't really. It just looks like crap from this part on. There's pegs right here, so now you can have a have live ammo. Live ammo, gasoline, probably not good. And this thing is refusing to stay together. And plastic wheel. And this wheel doesn't even roll. This back wheel rolls, but this wheel doesn't even roll. So it creates a lot of drag when you roll the figure, which is not good. I definitely like the play mode a lot better. I mean, the play mode is like leaps and bounce better. So, I'm not really sure why you would want to play like this. It doesn't really. The tinker mode doesn't look good. And let's just leave it at that. Alright, now let's see if we can transform it into robot mode. Now I'm guessing you're supposed to take this thing off because it becomes a weapon. I think, yes. Let's see if we can, uh... Yep, so this thing folds up. Little melee chopper thingy. Set that aside for now. Maybe this thing comes together. Guessing these things go together like that makes one little gun. And uh, I know these become the arms, so. That is a weak looking hand, by the way. That is just not a good looking hand. Um, let's see, go like that. Uh, supposing you're supposed to fold the chest out, I think so. There's a nice little Decepticon logo right there. And let's see if we can. Maybe it's all the more. Nope. Um, hey, and, wow, that is a weird looking clown foot right there. Oh, heel spurs. Hmm. These supposed to be the front or those? I'm guessing these are supposed to be the back. And, to the. 
key done. We're seeing the fear done right now. And how do we get the head out? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, See, supposed to fold the wings out, maybe, or have them just. just it looks like this chest piece lights up. Yep, and I'm guessing that's automorph it. Um, you move that out of the way. It's not. Coming me up for some reason. Okay, looks like these things are in the way, so... Take... Oh, so... For the transformation on the head, you have to fold this chest piece up again. And move it up, and then... Move it like that, so it locks the shoulders into place. And let's just adjust the shoulders a little bit because right now they're squeezing his head. And I really had high expectations for this figure, but so far it's really disappointing me. And it's a pretty tall figure too. Pretty tall, but really thin too. And you can adjust the wings how you like. And got knees. Got a little. Nope. Well, it's got a little bit of ankle articulation. The hands can move. The wrist can move. The really weak hands. And. This figure is really disappointing to me. Let's see how he looks with his weapons first though. Let's put his little double gun. So I'm guessing you could either have a like... Like a little double gun or... You could give him one gun in each hand. Which... Looks pretty cool but... Arm, it's pretty limited because of the wings, so you might just want to fold them up in the back so his arms can move, have a lot more freedom. And so these wings kind of get in the way. Oh no. Let's see how he looks with his ridiculous little clam, clam little clam, clam perfume. And how is he supposed to tag anybody with that? Again, this is really, this really disappointed me. Partly because of the high expectations I have for it. But, um, it's a alright figure, but it's really, I don't like it. I can see why some people would, would like this figure, but really, I just really don't like it right now. I don't, this figure is not impressing me whatsoever. Out of all the universe deluxe figures, um, this is the worst one. And to rank it, I guess I probably go um, Prowl first, then Sunstreaker, and then this guy. I haven't picked up any other universe figures yet. I but really, this figure is really disappointing to me. Um, if you're asking me, don't get it. The eyes on this figure are not translucent, and 
this part on the back of the head is not translucent, so why would you even have a, a different color at all? Do not get this toy. I don't like this toy. This is Meta Play Incarnated. Yeah. Meta Play Reincarnated. NPR, out.